Oh, shit, he is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a live preview, guys, of my boy, Josito Jones. He is about to do a Makora. And uh, let's take a quick look here. Take a quick gander at the situation at hand. We are going through the gear right now. And we got uh, Crescent Staff from Wailing Cams. We got double... Okay, we got NG uh, goggles, double killer girdle. Josito has uh, mage fist gloves. He's got the uh, level 17 BOE legs. He's got the uh, seal of Sylvanas green ring from the auction house. He's leveled up engineering all the way up. Does he have the rune cloth bandage? He's got goblin sapper charge. He's got buff food. He's got uh, anti poisons. He's got what else? Uh, high level food and water level 15 required, which is the highest on this level. They're level 21 versus a level 21, I do believe. And he's got this uh, debuff here from. Uh, Black Phantom Deeps as well. He's got the wand as well from Black Phantom Deeps. Because he does the wand from Black Phantom Deeps. I didn't see. Did the other priests have a chat? All right, here we go. All right, the duel is live right now. Zito Jones is throwing out the purges. Durex Madge is throwing out the purges here. And he goes for the fear. He gets the first fear. All right, he's going to rebuff the inner fire. Smite is coming out here. And the wands, the big ones. But he has a shield right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Zito Jones is doing a lot of damn here with the one. And he's going to come down to mana. Zito Jones with a slight mana advantage right now. Does uh, get dispelled. Yeah, he has a thing that tells him when he gets dispelled. Uh, and it's pretty fucking annoying. He's getting lucky, though, with the dispels here. It's not getting his shield, which is what he wants. Oh, my God. That thing is... Dude, he's getting so lucky. He's rebuffing rank one buffs here to protect the shield. And the other priest can't... Like, he's, he's just going to reshield here. Easy clap. The other priest can't... There's no way... You just need to shield some damage with it, though. Oh, shit. The Sleeping Dust coming out here from Durex Madge. But Josito has a trick in his sleeve here. The Sleep Dust shares cooldown with your grenade. And Josito didn't use a Sleep Dust. Oh, my God. The Mortar. <gasps> He's going for the kill. The Fear resisted. He was dead if that Fear didn't resist, dude. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Somebody else kills it. That's uh, that's pretty standard in Makara, to be honest. Like, people are around. They're killing, like, all the mobs. Uh, just to make it fair. Uh, but the other priest is doing good, man. I feel like the other priest is just kind of farming right now. Um, the wands are coming out. The big wands are coming out. But uh, whoever has to start casting heals first is going to be in a bad spot. And Zito right now is not in the greatest spot there. He goes for the health pot. Now, I do think the health pot is actually more value than the mana pot here. He's giving his dots rolling. And that touch of weakness, chat, it's a 20% uh, healing reduction, I do believe. Um... So that's one of, the, one of the advantages of having troll. You also get that uh, shadow ward. And there's the counter pot coming up from Durex Mad. They're both wanding each other right now. Slam dunking each other with their wand. And they both have the same wand from the Black Phantom Deeps quest. And uh, Uzito is thinking about it. They're uh, sending that shadow damage. And Uzito, it's kind of a race here. Uh-oh, his shield got dispelled instantly. Here comes the Sleep Dust. He's going to Mind Blast him into a fear. Oh, my God. He, 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 it breaks. It breaks. He's going to counter Sleep Dust him, but he's he's undead, bro. You can't do that. He gets feared. The Rune Cloth Bandy comes out here. Rosita with a big mana lead, but the Priest can drink right now. The Priest is being boosted, not drinking. No, he's uh, reapplying the dot, and then he's going for the drink. Uh, Durex Matt is playing this very, very well. Puts him in combat, I think, with the Mind Suit. I'm not sure, actually. You look at him, he's drinking on the server ticks. Uh, this Durex Mad Priest is playing it very well. I'm not going to lie. Uh, they're both playing it very well so far. Uh, I would say Durex Mad has been a little bit cleaner, though, with the kills. That's a Rune Cross bandage. These guys are twinked out out of their minds right now. And uh, when you're twinked out like this, guys, Rune Cross bandage deals for 2,000. And as you can see, they have about 1,200 HP when the duel started. And that was with their, you know, priest buff, which is getting dispelled, you know, because they're both dispelling each other. So they have about probably like a thousand HP here, and maybe maybe a little bit more, like one thousand one hundred. So you know, you get like three or four ticks on the rune cloth, you're full, uh, you're full mana. So now Durex Man's pushing for a fear. He can't sleep dust him here because um, he do he has those dots sticking. So what Durex Man wants to do right now is fear Hosito. If Hosito gets feared right now, he's dead. Oh, the wands are coming in. My iron grenade. Oh, my God. He shield. He missed the grenade. Durex Mad choking right now. Zito heading for the pillar and into a rune cloth bandage. That's going to save him. Durex Mad so far has had, I would say, two... He's mortar back. No, it's black, uh, uh, blackout. 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 Zito with a much better grenade aim right there does manage to land it. 
And I do believe he trinketed that, actually. I, I think Priest can actually trinket a stun. So the way the trinkets work in Classic is some classic uh, some classes can trinket like a sheep. Like a mage can trinket a sheep, for example. A warrior cannot trinket a sheep, but he can trinket a nova. Uh, so it depends a little bit. You know, the trinket works differently for each class. You guys think Jurex uh, wins? I think Jurex can definitely win this one because he, he's going to have Goblin Mortar soon. Like Goblin Mortar is probably off cooldown. I think that's what he's stalling for. Oh, he, he lands the net. That was a nice net, but it, it's mainly to keep him in combat so he doesn't drink. But they're not really going for the fears. I wonder why they're not going for fears as much. I mean, I don't main priest like these guys, so they know better. Wow. That was a great fear by Durex, man. He's going to get a nice drink of that now. And Josito had the mana advantage. And I honestly think Durex Mad might just win this. Josito should just drink here, by the way. Uh, there's no way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He got the life move here. There's a full reset. It's the best thing he can do. Uh, he's going to have a fear advantage. So if he manages to chase down Durex here. Yeah, they're just using. They're both using the pillars. I just don't see how Josito's going to land a kill. But I do see how Durex Mad is going to land a kill. Because Josito doesn't have a goblin mortar. Why is he not just going for the mortar? I feel like Durex Matt has kill pressure here. Maybe he swapped his trinket and he hasn't swapped it back. I, I really don't know what trinket uh, Durex Matt is going for. But a mortar is like 500 damage. Like a mortar plus a nade kills his either here for sure. Like he just needs to sleep him. Instead of re reapplying that dog right there, he just slept him. Sleep into mortar and while it's casting, you just send a, a holy fire here. He's trying to bait the fear right now. He's doing a little fear duel. This is. This is one of the interesting things about, um, about the fear duels, is like, who wins them, you know, because it's, it's a big mind game. Like right now, you can just go around the corner and try to fear him, and you could fake that he's going to do that. But yeah, right, now, right here, see, because he's just trying to fake because he knows the other guy's going to maybe try, but Josito uh, actually reads it, reads the fake. He took a good step there to the left, if you notice, and, and uh, that's the position better for the fear, so... Zito, you know, he has so much experience on Priest, not necessarily in Classic, but he got rank 1 every season in TBC. We actually got rank 1 together in TBC uh, like two times. Um, he's super, super good uh, in Arena, but in level 60 Classic, or like in general in Classic. <gasps> Watch out! The Firestar, oh my god, he's gonna get feared! No! No, not the coward, dude! A fate worse than death! Oh my god, please! Oh my god, he made it back in! Holy shit, that was way too close, dude. Oh my god, he was one second away, dude. I'll just delete my character, dude. Holy shit, he survived the fate worse than that, dude. But he just used to, he wasted his rune cost. His fear resists there. Okay, so Durix has left the pillar. So they're kind of doing a little bit of a gentleman agreement here to kind of leave the pillar. But at any point, I don't think Durex necessarily started the line of sighting. I think actually, didn't Hozito start a line of sighting? Not at this house, but at the pillar like near Ogrimar when he almost died. So right now, Hozito has no dot. He needs to be aware of the fact that the reason why he doesn't have a dot is because of the sleep one shot that he did earlier. Now, Hozito can win this as well because he's managing his mana much better, I would say. He's being more efficient than Durex man. Because uh, there's the mortar. Watch out. There's the fear. There's the sapper. Yup. There's the one shot combo. The Oppenheimer spec is just too OP. Uh, uh, I mean, it's the same combo I did on my warrior, you know? Mortar sapper combo is just. It's so disgusting at this level, you know? It's a Senjin village angle.